Hi, I'm Tina Marie Hilton of Virtual Assistant Survival School and I am going to show you just how quickly you can create a nice professional looking website with WordPress and the Headway theme in just a couple of minutes. Now we've already started out and we've um, got our hosting and we've installed WordPress on our domain name. We've gone over that in a prior module. Um, if you haven't taken that learning module yet, you might want to. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do, we, if we've installed WordPress, we've got this rather generic theme that um, automatically gets put on. We're going to want to log in using our um, username and password that we set up. We've talked about that in the learning module before. So the first thing we're going to want to do is install Headway or install our theme. And in this case, it's Headway. Um, we're going to upload it because it's a premium theme and we own it. So we're going to go to the um, Headway, uh, the newest version of Headway that we have, and we are going to install it just like that and activate it. So now that we've got this all activated, the next thing that we want to go is let's jump right in and head to the visual editor. Now right now we have absolutely no layout whatsoever, but Headway makes it really easy by using the grid wizard and I'm just going to use this basic one sidebar um, deal here and hit finish and this is going to be our landing page. This is our header. So that's the first thing that we're going to add is a header. And we're going to choose an image for that header. And this is something that you're going to want to have ahead of time. You're going to want to have created your header and have it ready to go, which I do. And there it is right there as easy as that and hitting use image. We're going to hit save. Now we want to take a look at it because chances are this isn't going to be quite big enough. Um, I don't want to resize the header. I actually want to create this as big as my header is. So very easily we're going to make a little bit of extra space. We're going to make this one a little bit smaller. Pull it down just a little bit. Make that one even. Let's pull that navigation bar down a little bit. Oops, and you see if the red overlaps, you can't do that. And let's pull it down. Nope, not quite enough. So let's see. Let's really give us some room this time. Okay, and that's the size that I want. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to pull my navigation up a little bit. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. We want to make sure we get them all back in spot and hit save again. Now if we hit this show preview button, you're going to see that we now have our business uh, header in place telling what our website name is, whatever, but it's kind of bland. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this design section. And I'm going to hit the structure and the body. Now you can choose any color that you want to for the background. It's as simple as um, clicking into it and deciding what color you want as your background. But you can also do what I've done and I've prepared a background image. And I'm going to use this blue pinstripe. And scroll down and where it says use image. And now you can see the slight, the slight pinstripe um, in the background, and it's a very, very light blue. Then we're going to go to the wrapper, and the wrapper is this white section where all of your content is going to go. And really, I want to keep it white, but I really want to enhance the shadow that I can have here. So if I look down through here, and I could add a border if I wanted to, I'm just not, I don't really want to at the moment. But this I do want. I want this box shadow and I actually want it to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to hit 2 
and I want the blur radius to be a little bit bigger as well so I'm going to hit 15 and then I'm going to choose a color and I want it to be in the blue family because as you can see these are kind of grayish bluish in my in my images so I want to kind of pick up on that and it's going to end up being like a dark dark gray that we're going to use to really really dark blue gray to really really enhance the outer edge there we're going to use that color and looking at this gee I don't know if I want it to be quite that much all the way around so you know what I'm going to take my vertical offset out and then it you've got your heavy um, shadow over here and then it's a much lighter shadow over on the other side and that's really the way that I want it to go so I've got my body and my wrapper that's the way that I want those to look the next thing I want to play around with is how I want my navigation to look now I really like this clean look of not having boxes or color but we can change the color of these the, um, of these separators we could take them out all together if we wanted to um, but since we're doing this really quick I'm going to pop in here and we're going to scroll down to where it says the border and let's choose out of the blue family again uh, let's you know let's see maybe a little bit lighter than that but we're going to grab it out of that gray blue family and we're going to pop that in there and then something that I like to do is let's go to the items here and let's go to the selected now this would be like whatever page you're on is going to look like this and we're going to have that be a different color let's let's have it be one of, you know our pretty blue color here if we're on the page and I'm also going to shadow it. So I'm going to go all the way down here to where it says text shadow. And we're going to give it a shadow. Again, I want to stay consistent, you know, with, with the type of coloring that I've got shadowing it. And, all right, now what if I want all of my letters to be shadowed? Well, I just go back to the basics here so that it's all of my navigation items. And there's my text shadow. And we're going to do this again. Put a 1, a 1. I think our blur was 8. And again, we're going to go. Did that take? Nope. Let's try it again. Can go in here, in here, our eight, and choose our color. there we go so now we've got we've got this nice little line that's separating it from the top and the bottom and then um, we've got this nice little glow effect behind them I really kind of I like that it looks it looks very sharp um, but yet it, it gives it a little bit and you'll notice that the color changes when you hover over and you can actually change that color as well but I'm really not interested in doing that at the moment the next thing that I do want to change however is my widget area I really don't want these additional lines and I do want there to be a glow effect behind my widget titles as well. So we're going to hit widget area and widget title and the first thing I want to look at 
down here is the borders. I want to take those out and hidden and there we go and then I'm going to go to that text shadow again right here we're going to do that offset again just like we did before I'm going to find a, that color again in the blue family It doesn't have to be exact, it just needs to kind of look the same as the other one does. And, and we're going to save that. All right. Now there are lots of other things that you could do in here, but I just want to show you how fast you could actually have um, your website up and, and ready to go. So one more thing that we need, are going to need to do is we're going to need to go to the dashboard and to the widget area and we're going to put a text box in our widget area right there and the first thing I'm going to put in here is contact us because we definitely want people to be able to contact us. I've already got my information here that I'm going to put in there and save that and then the next thing I want are some social media buttons so I'm gonna add my buttons this way and I have them all ready it's Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and YouTube and we're gonna upload all of them and this is the only one that I really need to look at and then you're going to copy and paste these into some coding and I've already got the coding written here um, and this is the only one that I should have to replace but as you can see it's a simple HTTP uh, linked image code if you don't know how to do that um, we'll be going into that further in our in our lessons but um, we'll also you can also find that um, online and then we're going to take these, these should be all four of them. I'm going to copy, we're going to go back to that widget area. We're going to do another text box. And then we're going to pop this in there and we're going to see if it works. It might not work. Um, and if it didn't, then I'll have to come back and make some adjustments. But it should. Now let's take a peek and look, there they are. So you've got, here you've got your header, the name of your website, you've got a nice sharp look, you've got your contact us, your links to your social media sites. In this spot you're going to put, um, you're going to put your homepage content. And how to do that is, this is actually a post, but we're going to go back into the visual editor and we're going to click on that and instead of the default behavior because the default behavior is going to pull blog posts so it's going to pull posts in there um, what I like to do is because I like to have my landing page um, to be different from my blog page I'm going to hit custom query and save that and then we're going to go back to the admin dashboard we're going to create a page there's already a sample page and I'm going to quick edit it and I'm going to call it um, the home page and update that. Alright, and then we'll go back to that visual editor. I'm going to hit a refresh here just to make sure that it picks up that new page that I got in there. We're going to hit this content block again, like we said, custom query. Here's your query filters and let's fetch from the home page and save. Now you're going to see, aha, now we've got the home page. Now what's going on here? Well, that's not so cool. So we want to go 
back here into appearance and menus. We want to make our menu appear the way that we want it to. Create that menu. And we really uh, don't have anything to add at the moment. Let's save it. Let's pop it on here. Choose that menu. Now the only thing you're going to see is the home page because that's all we have right now. You would put all of the uh, landing page copy right there in that on that home page and it would pull into this front page. But how do we get another page? Well, let's do that real quick. Let's go back here. Let's go and add a new page. Let's call it our about page. And you're going to put uh, everything about your business there we're going to publish it we're going to go back to those menus again and we're going to add that about page to our menu and save and save and now you've got your about page in there. It's that easy to add your pages. So as you can see, we've got this nice professional website. We did it in 15 minutes, 16 minutes. Um, wouldn't take much longer to add some more pages, to add more things to your, to your sidebar, but as you can see, it's just that fast.